Hey, what's up guys? Let's take a look at Ryan's build. Now this is staying here in Tennessee. And what we'll notice is a very nice Thermaltake V21 case. This thing actually holds a whole lot more than I thought it did. And whenever I upgrade my case here soon, I may actually switch over to this. As you can see on the side here, we've got three SSD slots for two and a half inch drives. Now, even though he's got his 240 here, you can actually order extra slots here and then move these over one notch for three and a half inch drives or four two and a half inch drives. We've got an MSI D350 Pro motherboard coupled with a Ryzen 5 2600 and eight gigs of RAM. Underneath, we've got an eight terabyte hard drive with a, let's see, what did I end up going? A Zotac 1050. I do believe this is the OC edition. I'm not sure. I had a, I think it was an Asus. And the very second I plugged in the Asus 1050, it started giving me artifacts and blinking, so I had to RMA it. But this is actually more than what he paid for. Um, he ended up, his original invoice was for a Ryzen 3 with a 1030, I believe. But I just wanted to see how well we could get these Ryzen's running and make a pretty good three to five year machine. So I went ahead and just upgraded him free just because I just wanted to see how well everything runs. He's got his 360 controller. Now this is going to be hooked up to a 75 inch TV behind uh, some drywall right very very close so I've got the the 360 controller on the front port that way he can probably put it right next to the door or wherever but he said he's only a few feet away so I believe he's gonna be just fine so this machine is burning in as you can see but we've got everything running just fine And I do believe I've turned the shaders off for him. He's going to have to do some tweaking on that big old TV. But I would highly recommend running the main shaders. Let's just pick something, anything. Something good. We'll do magic drop. Just for the hell of it. Now what I suspect is without the shaders and filters turned on in MAME on the 75 inch TV, even with bezels loaded, it might be a little pixelated. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn those on for him and we'll see how it works. I'll hook it up to our TV in there and see how well I can get the display going. But there it is guys, it's a really nice build. And I want to show you Jesse's build in Texas that will be coming up next week. All right, guys, let's take a look at our next build, and that's for Jesse in Texas. Now, this is a really nice machine, and I suspect this is going to do very, very well. So we're using a Thermaltake Core V1 Mini ITX case. This build will be using an Intel i7-8700, 8-terabyte hard drive, 240 gig SSD drive, 3000 megahertz, 16 gig RAM, which are very expensive at the moment. Video cards are coming down, RAM's going up. Be using a MSI B250i Gaming Pro AC motherboard. I've used this thing a million times and they never let me down. A Thermaltake Smart 700 watt power supply and coupled with a GTX NVIDIA 1060 OC edition. This is the six gig version. And this is gonna be a really nice edition that build. It's gonna go very, very well with that Intel i7. So as soon as this gets done, I'll publish it for you guys. I'm gonna give him a, an extra hard drive. I didn't invoice him for it, but I'm gonna throw in an extra hard drive when I talked to him on the phone the other day. He said he probably wanted to install Office, maybe for some other use, and so I want to throw him in a, a one terabyte, two and a half inch 
hard drive since I've got a few laying around and that way he can install his apps that he wants and it doesn't affect his game drive. So I will publish it later this week whenever I'm done. Have a good day, guys.